All right, here we go. Box number five of six from the Master Set. You know that big box set that I've been uh, doing. This is a 2013 Master Set. It had all the releases from 2013. Mattel makes it available at the end of the year. Here you have the cars that are in this set. In this box, we're going to find the uh, Super Treasure Hunt 69 Camaro. Hey, Ford Falcon. There's a couple of Supers that are going to be in this one. Here's a Walmart. So, uh, Corvette Stingray. Is that a, a Zamac? Let's see. Here's a Super. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now this is going to be for collector number 179 to 218 for the model year. 218. I have two box, one box left. Number uh, six of six. This is number five of six. Let's see. Where's my knife? Here you go. Factory seal. That didn't help. Should have cut it the same way I've been cutting it. What's this? Number six. This is number six. So I just stack them up one at a time so this way they'll be in order for me to go backwards okay here we go box five this is number one two three four five I guess six is on the bottom. It got it spun around. Here we go. What's going to be in the first one? Ducati. Uh, let's see. Walmart Aventador J. Beautiful. That's the Walmart. I never found that. Super Treasure Hunt Bone Shaker. I didn't find that either. I did get the uh, Purple Passion. Someone sent me one, and I'm pretty sure I bought one at a convention. Let's get the camera down so we can see. Come on, everybody. Don't be shy. I'm gonna spread out all over the table here. That one's empty. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. This was kind of interesting because uh, when the 2014s first started hitting, uh, I think it was this color showed up at Kmart. It was one of the first 2014s to sh 2013s to show up uh, about September uh, 2012 at Kmart Collector's Day. So that's kind of it's interesting how you see a car and that brings back a memory. We have the Phaeton. All of them have the roof. Everybody's in in here. Here we have. And look, see, look how long they've been taking care of this. It's been sitting around for a long time that they, the corner got bent up. So when you look at the base code, see E, I don't know if you can see that, E36. So uh, that was made a long time ago. E46 on this one. And then this one is F03. And, you know, I think one of these might have been a Kmart exclusive color, actually, later on. I'm not sure. But uh, let's go ahead and get going. Here's the uh, Super Treasure Hunt Bone Shaker. Not that one. This one. Special paint. Rubber tires. Did he get a uh, decos on top? Yeah, look. Uh, by the engine, he got a little bit of deco around the engine. Whereas the regular is just plain pink. And here you have the Super. It has uh, something there. And there's the TH. It's right there behind the skull, TH. There's the uh, bone shaker skull. You can see the rubber tires for sure there. You can see the treads. 
special paint, rubber tires. Here's your super. Here's your regular. They both should have the same collector number. Let's see. See? Number 181. 181. That's because this is considered a superized version of this. It's just a color variation. As a matter of fact, uh, I could get the Phaetons, but we'll go ahead and I'm going to get the these here. Get the purple passion. Let's check the co collector numbers. It's been a long time since I looked at the actual numbers. Here you have the Zamac. You can see the Zamac. 183 for the passion, 183 for this one, and 183 for this one. But uh, for some reason, I'm thinking one of these might have been a Kmart or Toys R Us recolor. Because generally, if it's the same number, it's a recolor of an existing existing collector number. If it was like the second colorway, then I'm going to get the uh, Phaeton out right now. I'm going to check it out. The Purple Passion got some great colors. Sorry for stalling on these. He got uh, he got some pretty good uh, colors. Sometimes the colors are a little off on certain cars, but hey, that one got some good colors. Okay, now let's just check here. 182, 182, 182. Maybe not. Maybe they keep the same collector number now, uh, no matter what the uh, color variation. Lamborghini Aventador J. Yep. This one looks great in Zamac. All that metal right there, bare metal. Zamac. There's the uh, hollow foil sticker that's on all of them that came out of this set. These are the same cars that were released to the public. It's just that they set aside 450 or so for this box set. Here you have the Ducati 1098R. And a couple so fine. Excellent release. Glad to see him come back in this deco. Not the old bowling one from 2000 and something or other. Yeah, that was a... Uh, those were fun days where they just decided, Oh yeah, kids like graphics. We'll just put graphics on everything. It might have been a little overkill. Don't tell Mike I said that, but you know. You know what I'm talking about. Number two. Let's see, we're going to have the uh, Cadillac Fleetwood. I think that's a red and a black one. Shoebox. This one, Kmart. So this one, so now we're going to see a Kmart uh, variation. I don't know if it was one of the other ones. I didn't notice this right here. Here we go. Oh, now that I see the shoebox, now I remember that shoebox. <clears throat> so, yeah, I remember the Kmart one was this red one here. Let's check the collector number. 189, 189. Pretty sure this was a Kmart color right here. Three window 34. It was nice to see it back in the lineup. That car has been around a long time. Willie's Gasser. Going to be a super treasure hunt in 2014. 55 Bel Air Gasser. Excellent release. Kind of a definitely a throwback. Popular model with collectors. Check the two shoe boxes. Flames. Caddies. I'm not so sure people really like this model. I think it was just a little bit too custom. Made it too customized and it, in my opinion kind of lacked a little character. Didn't really have any special styling. It looked custom, but just because you make it a custom doesn't make it interesting. Surf crate, of course, with the uh, Una body, I mean Una interior where the surfboard is part of the interior. You can no longer uh, pull out the surfboard. Oh, I missed one. Bellard Gasser. This was a pretty good color right here. So what was that? Flat? There was a black, a gray, and a gold. I think that was the other ones. Yep. Flat black, a gray, flat gray, and this gold version. All three looked uh, very nice. The last two here. We have the Lincoln Continental. Lowrider. And there you have the Fangula. Let's check out his fangs in the front. Got the 
one eye on one side, then he's got the f gold fangs in the middle there. Okay, time for box number three. Box number three is going to have another color of the Lincoln Continental. We just seen the green one, but there's going to be a Kmart exclusive, and then look, then there's Walmart, Kmart, and on the bottom, 69 Camaro Super Treasure Hunt. 69 Camaro. Was that the black convertible one? 69? I, th I think so. I got a few of those. Made a video about that too. That was uh, quite a story. Oh, it's, it's not the one I was thinking of. Beautiful metal flake red color. I should say spectra flame. It's not metal flake. Spectra flame color. There's the, all of them have, again have this 2013 hollow foil sticker. Red uh, rubber tire, special paint. Stripes on the hood of the super, not on the basic. Let's check the card. You got the stripes on the car. No stripes. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Now, me personally, I don't have to have every color, every variation. Now, because I make the videos, this uh, this car actually, it's okay for display. It's not really a track car. It can't do downhill racing. It's more of a display car. Or if you're a young one, you like custom cars to drive around in your setup. It's more of a drive around car than a uh, track car. 64 Nova Station Wagon. Now, as I was saying, uh, I do the video, so I wind up getting every car because I'm doing the videos. But if it were my personal collection, I would not have to have every super treasure on. I wouldn't have to have every color of every car. It's just my thing. I don't have to got them all. I don't got to have them all. 57 Chevy. The uh, closed or the non-blown engine version. This, <laughs> these two, I will admit that I picked up extras. Of this car right here when it was out in the stores got a lot of the blue ones it showed up at k-day i don't think it's not a k-day exclusive i don't recall i think it just showed up there first beautiful paint and actually you know my actually chevy actually you can buy this car in the dealers back in the day i say back in the day uh, a couple years ago or a year ago in 2013 you could buy that car special order from the dealer here's the other color of the lincoln continental Kind of that color that they like to use for the Kmart collector's days. So I'm wondering if uh, that was a K-Day. I'm not sure. This is uh, one of my models I like to collect. Camaro. I like Camaros. 12 Camaro Z1. And in the stores, the 12 Camaro Z1, you can find it with clear wheels. This one. So the one in the uh, master set, you're going to get the... The regular release that had the regular red tires, not the not the clear red tires. See how these are clear blue? You can see through the tires. Well, this one did show up with clear red as well. Pretty hard to find. I did. I was lucky to find one. Uh, very thankful for that. That's one car that I probably would have sought out afterwards uh, when the prices come down on the secondary market. Here we go, a few Australian cars here. Ford Falcon, including the Super. Mm -hmm. Another Super, I see. Got some Corvettes in here, I noticed. I wonder if this would have helped if I would have started pushing from the back all along. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Kind of hard to do it from behind the camera. Trying not to mess up packages. Oh, I remember. I, I wonder if the Greenwood Corvette's in here. Uh, a lot of those were not in very good condition. Charger Daytona. Let's see if we have a color so we can look at the same car in different colors. There's the Super and the regular. Let's see what else. Another Super. Scion. There's a Super. Let me get the glare off. Ah, look how pretty. Okay. 69 Corvette. We have a couple colors. This was a nice release. Uh, 
64 Corvette Stingray. Corvette Stingray. I like the side pipes. It's a cool car. And the Scion FR S. Now let's look at the uh, Super comparisons. On the bottom, got the Super. White stripes on the Super. No stripes on the regular. 09 Corvette 01. Got to make sure I'm looking at the right one. There you see special tires, special paint. Regular tires, regular red paint. TH, is that TH? This one does not have a TH on it. It might have it. It might have it on the back side. Let's check. No. Seventy-three Ford Falcon XB. We'll go ahead and get this one out of the way. Let's see if you want to see regular black flat regular red, black roof, no stripes. And then here you have the color variation of this one here. There's your super on top with the stripes on the hood. You can see the TH on the rear quarter panel. Got rubber tires. Can you see the treads? Regular tires, just plastic. And here's our last one here. The 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Nice release. I remember a red one, but I can't remember if that's going to be coming in 2014 or if that was a uh, here. Let's see, I don't see a Dodge Daytona, so that means it's probably not in here. Got a Super, got a Kmart Corvette Stingray Concept. Box number five of Inner Five of Inner Five. Maybe if I put it straight up, it puts more weight and it slide out easier. Corvette. Okay, let's look at the Greenwood Corvette right now. Because uh, the one I got in my case and other people reporting, theirs were pretty chipped up. I'm looking at this one. Looks pretty good. I don't notice any chips. Looks pretty good. Good. So you do see the yellow on the inside of the blister right here. So, uh, the other ones, people were saying that they were put in too soon. The paint didn't dry. So this one does have that condition, which is okay, because it, it doesn't look to affect the car. But uh, my, I'm just thankful it doesn't have chips. If there's slight blemishes in the paint, I know it happens. Chips in the paint, uh, as far as I'm concerned, are not acceptable. Here's the Zamac. Let's look for its counterpart. Sixty-four Corvette Stingray. Oops, grabbed the wrong one. Maybe it doesn't have a counterpart. Maybe it's going to be in another box. Sixty-four Corvette Stingray. Here's a Zamac for Walmart. Zamac. I'm going to set this aside. See if it's in another box. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and look at the Super. Sixty-two Corvette. I like this. Nice, classy car. Once again. See the stripe on the hood, special paint, special rubber tires. These almost look special here, but no, they're plastic. Nice release. Two thousand nine Corvette Stingray Concept. That oh, one's kind of interesting color. But uh, I definitely like the red. Here's a custom 56 Ford F100. Topping the Zamac version for Walmart. Exclusive to Walmart. Unless uh, for some reason some cases accidentally wound up going to other stores. That has happened in the past. Where Walmart didn't take all of their cars. And then they wound up over at uh, Dollar Tree. It was nice to see this car come back. You got your uh, 80's Corvette. Fourteen Corvette Stingray. Excellent.
black and red. Look at those tires. Black. So black, black, and red. Black and red. That's it. Got headlight tampos. And when mine, when I got this in one of my case unboxing, the tampo was pretty bad. But this one looks good. Got your Corvette Grand Sport. Looking good. Last but not least, box number six of box five. Super B. I don't see Corvette Stingray. That's interesting that the Stingray would be there. Maybe it was in another box. Oh, here it was earlier. Found it. I just happened to look over. So there's the uh, recolors. Walmart got the Zamek version of this right here. You see the similar tempo styles. There we go. The last box of box number five. You did see that, right? Yeah, because I remember reading Super B. Hey, easy on the camera there. 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. It's hot. It's got flames. Got two here. So now since there's two, actually here's a third one. Nope, wrong one. 71 Plymouth. Let me check. 71 Plymouth, 71 Plymouth. Just looking at the colors, I wonder uh, if this one's Kmart because they were not getting the best colors for their collector's days. Here you got Walmart. Here you get Walmart getting all awesome Zamac releases. And then for Kmart collector's days, we get the colors like this. I talked to Kmart about that. I don't know if a manager can do anything. But uh, Love the Flame, Black with Flame is definitely a collector's niche. And I like it as well. Let's take a look at the uh, Chevelle 69 Chevelle SS396. It's okay car, not one of my uh, favorites. We'll finish with the Super, how's that? Three different cars here. 70 Plymouth Barracuda. Then you got your custom 64 Galaxy 500. And last but not least, Monte Carlo SS. 86 Monte Carlo SS. And we'll save the best for last. 71 Dodge Demon. So which one's the uh, super treasure hunt, right? You've been uh, learn listening, right? Correct, the one on top. It's got TH right here. It's got special tires. It's got decos on the top. Of the hood there and uh, special paint there you go that's box number five I'm sure most of you like that box more than the uh, first few there was real cars super treasure hunts came out of the uh, 2013 box set that's this video I'm doing now all the boxes that came out of there if you want to see the rest click on this image or check my description on YouTube I have links to all the rest of the videos thanks for watching Bye-bye.